You've probably heard of menstruation, more commonly known as a monthly period. Also, perimenopause and menopause, the time around a woman's last menstruation. But what about menarche? That's the first bleed a girl experiences, usually between the ages of 12 and 13 years old, according to gynecologists. And the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists says doctors need to educate girls and their caregivers about what to expect ahead of menarche. And they should understand the menstrual cycles of their young patients because it's considered another vital sign. But even with such significance, it still comes with shame, ignorance, and suffering. I'm going to introduce you to these three local women trying to change this, each in a different way, through equity, education, and example. What if, what if I bleed everywhere? What if my clothes have blood on them? And, and what if people make fun of me? The typical panic swirling through a girl's mind, getting her first period at school. But not Dula Stephanie de Azevedo's <laughs> daughter. When she calls me and I'm thinking, oh no, how did it go? Was it bad? Was it a traumatic experience? And she said, no, I'm fine. I, I just wanted you to know. She was taught what to expect and how to take care of herself through her first bleed. The big change that I saw in my daughter was suddenly she wasn't embarrassed anymore. Now Stephanie empowers other preteen and teen girls. And the egg will come out and start floating in your abdominal cavity. With menarche knowledge through her wisdom keeper classes. That's actually the strongest muscle in the human body is the uterus. And it does things that affect your entire being. The period is just not the six days that you bleed. It's a cycle of a whole 28 days and if you can be in tune with it it actually flows a lot better the classes teach girls as young as nine how to do this with confidence and self-love even when bleeding starts during class there's no saying not yet not yet a lot of the little schools they have to go to the front desk and you know what that's like there's usually kids milling around and they have to ask for a pad or a tampon and it's embarrassing so for the past two years susan thompson with the southwest boise idaho chapter of days for girls has been putting period products in 130 bathrooms in 48 schools. There's period poverty right in our own backyard. Research shows girls need three to six tampons or pads per bleeding day. A point of financial strain, she says. Idaho is the only state that has not addressed pink tax with legislation. So period products are expensive. And stress, as girls can't focus on learning while worrying about leaking. We want to move up our education from one of the last to being so a real place where girls and boys can get educated. After a 2023 state legislative rejection, Girls for Days plans to try again next year. We're going to go one school at a time until the state legislature realizes that this is an issue that they need to address and to fund period products for the girls in our schools. Easy access to period products, she says, also helps girls embrace menstruation. It's making them more confident. They talk about it more. This can start at home. When you are bleeding, are your kids seeing any of that? Are they seeing what period products you use? Are they hearing you talk about anything? Megan Doyle with Intuitive Womb says this kind of example and education like the Wisdom Keeper classes already have her young daughter ready. She's so excited to start her period and she just feels confident and at ease about the whole thing and I want that for everyone. She's holding on to this box of letters from loving women as a gift for her daughter that day. Welcoming her into womanhood and really framing it like a beautiful thing, like a rite of passage because it really is that. A celebration of just the first in probably hundreds of bleeds adding up to about six or seven years of her life and impacting all the rest. Stephanie believes she's the only person to be teaching classes like this, the Wisdom Keeper classes here in the Treasure Valley, and they're inspiring a nationwide movement. Doulas from all over reaching out to Mother Keeper Doula Services. So Stephanie's working with them to create a curriculum. On our website, you can learn how to sign your girl up for those monthly classes. The next one is happening on the 20th. And you can learn how to help Susan put period products in 30 more Idaho schools and hear more from Megan about how to support the girls in your life. In studio, Janae Ryan.